Carilia, o ai mihat mesaj, paron. Ne reușim, Carilia, vercin, vercin mihat hoscă. Meni cu zumec vor duc mei mesaje pochanțe, vor meni zezi ce în curaj ce este în tunelu. E vor evite mi arta sa mania în el, chi spiur că dema. No ideas. Mr. Sharma, please give us your thoughts. On Thank this. you. Um, it's uh, very interesting that we talk about AI, and you know, usually the tone about it is very negative. And I'm glad, Artem, that you're bringing some positivity into it. I think it's very important to understand that technology is something which is going to happen. It's just the speed is increasing and we just don't know how to absorb it. Uh, technology was there and it's because of technology that we are sitting here and we're talking on uh, a hybrid format and there were so many joys and uh, importance of technology. Welcome to our next panel. Uh, our panel today is on how we rethink education and healthcare in the post-COVID world. Uh, my name is Ara Brujan. I'm the head of digital innovation and smart technology at Morningstar Sustainalytics. So, uh, Mr. Parsons, let's start with you. And uh, my question to you as a healthcare investor is, how do you see the um, perspectives of transitioning, pro possible transitioning from um, treatment-based healthcare into the uh, prevention-based healthcare and healthcare practices and culture in the post-COVID world, please. Uh, yep, th thanks very much. It's a, it's a super interesting question, um, and I think one that we'll only scratch the surface of um, on a panel like this today, but maybe to start with, it would be helpful for me to talk a little bit about the frameworks um, through which I think we can, we can look at these questions, and I think healthcare is an interesting beast. Um, the first one that's really important when you think about healthcare on a macro level from a policy perspective level is, um, is an access between quality um, and access. Mr. Kamal, my next question is uh, for you. From the unique intersection of medical research and education that you're uh, representing, how do you see the, uh, uh, transform the transformative processes in the post-COVID world for healthcare? Дело в том, что вообще, если э, сегодня говорить о здравоохранении как таковом, и вот здесь э, предыдущий спикер коснулся этого вопроса о доступности медицинской помощи, я хотел бы сказать, что пандемия показала очень серьезные проблемы вообще в системе здравоохранения даже тех самых развитых стран, где есть очень высокая медицина. We are going to start our session on global mega trends and the world of finance. Let me first of all thank our speakers 
and for you all for coming. And let me give you a brief introduction of who's on the panel today. So uh, on my immediate left is Kobak Venetadze. Koba is the chairman of the board of the National Bank of Georgia. He's the governor of National Bank of Georgia. A personal friend and a very seasoned macroeconomist with uh, huge experience with international financial organizations and government. On my right is uh, Samvel Lazarian, who is the head of the Center for Macroeconomic Research, Financial Research Institute of the Ministry of Finance of Russian Federation. Which is the progressive loss of independence of central banks. The majority have mobile network access without access to broadband internet. So which means that all this the transformation we're talking about, whether it's in education, healthcare, etc. I, I, I'm concerned about the unhealthy trend towards forcing uniform taxation rates. Second one, you know, I guess we can uh, say good things as well, right? Because trends not <laughs> can, uh, can be positive as well. I think uh, the development of everything becoming personalized. Like Reconsideration of the job markets considering to the massive loss of jobs uh, due to digitalization and automatization. The asymmetry in labor automation and what it means for countries like Armenia, specifically things like certain types of office work are being automated. First, about the most recent trends and prospects on global investment, international investment which is the engine of, um, of global supply chain. The only thing they can do at this point, in addition to being a means of payment. You know, the summit UMOV, as it is translated from English to Russian, is a very important platform, a platform for Armenia. First, the president Armen Sarkisian raised a very high level, and on these summits are very serious questions. Интересны с точки зрения такого, знаете, широкого взгляда на глобализацию в мире. Почему? Потому что здесь встречаются специалисты разных областей. Вот, например, я врач, принимая участие в разных мероприятиях, дискуссиях, я начинаю понимать, что каждый человек, наверное, может себе найти еще большее, еще больше размах того, чем он занимается на сегодняшний день. И эта площадка, мне кажется, она еще позволяет нам э, наладить те контакты, которые необходимы и Армении, и многим другим странам, потому что Армения является великолепной площадкой для апробации э, определенных э, технологий, потому что она маленькая по, по отношению к другим странам. И здесь можно э, получить те результаты, которые потом можно масштабировать уже в других странах с учетом полученных результатов. Поэтому мне кажется, что э, саммит этот, он будет только набирать обороты. Мне кажется, все больше людей будут заниматься.